think we got all the rocks out of the tires. Huh. How'd we do? We lose power? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't really getting after it. <laughs> We're gonna mix it up a little bit on the dirt head shed this week. Time to go ride mountain bikes in the morning, go make some power with this thing by the afternoon. Let's go see what we can make happen. Here's the rough plan. I've had this truck for 30,000 miles now and about three years and I'm kind of ready to do a little bit of mods to it. I didn't do anything right away just because I wanted to have a cool stock truck but I've been watching videos online and I've seen like the exhaust systems are pretty restrictive on these 7.3 gas engines so we're gonna uh, we're gonna head over to my buddy Chad's house and run this thing on the dyno see what kind of power it makes and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to cut up the exhaust and add in a couple of different mufflers. I know this has one big muffler and one big resonator. I want to get in there and see what's going to be a good fit for it that might make a little bit more power but not be super obnoxiously loud. So we're going to go do that but first we're going to go ride mountain bikes because I've been trying to get in a little better shape. I'm tired of looking at myself being all unhealthy and uh, we're gonna go rip the mountain bike for a minute and then run over to Chad's house and go dyno this thing. So it should be a pretty fun day. Hopefully at the end of the day, I'm not hurt and my truck makes a little bit more power. We'll see. We're getting close. The river over there, pretty rad mountain bike park over here on the right. We're not going for the hard line stuff. We're just gonna go try and get our blood flowing today. Right. I've got my helmet and gloves and glasses on. On the old Haro. This is like a uh, Haro Shift Plus 27.5. It's like a five year old full suspension bike. I'm already out of breath. I just left the parking lot. It's gonna be a, a lot of heavy breathing in this video. We're on this little uphill section. Basically, this is a long uphill turn around, run it back down way more fun coming down but the exercise going up should be worth it man it takes a while to get your legs back oh, this is a steep uphill right here come on legs the downhill is worth it the downhill is worth it I'm not filming a ton of the climb, but it's awesome. It is an amazing spot. Look at these flowers, holy cow. This place is rad. Oh, that little downhill on the climb's nice. Look at that view. It's the river right over there. I'm dying. I hope this is good for me. It's a lot of work. Oh, come on, bike. I'm dying. That took a little longer than I expected. I'm only about halfway up to the top, but I think that's as far as I'm gonna get today. I gotta be at the dino shop in like 15 minutes. Maybe the third trip up, I'll get my lungs back. All right, let's go down. All right, so this is considered 
the easiest trail up here in this system. Which is why, why we're on it. Because I have a lot of practicing to do before I go and run the harder trails. Run this one. Woo, coming in hot. I think I just made a pretty big shortcut on my downhill. I don't know if that's what I wanted to do or not. this is fun. I need to let some air out of that back tire. We'll go this way. Here's the front brakes a workout on that one. Let me drop my seat post a little. There we go. Alright, now we're back on the trail I came up. section down at the base. Back in the truck, bike is in the bed, and we're gonna head over to Chad's to run this thing on the dyno. That was a pretty cool little little rip for uh, you know being kind of close to home and only a half hour or so up and back. Well, about 20 minutes up and four minutes back. That's pretty rad. Hopefully the next time we go out there, uh, I got my lungs back a little bit <coughs> and I'm not just up there Puffing and puffing and dying along the way, but it's all baby steps, man. All right, let's go see if this truck makes any power. All right, dang, he's got all kinds of cool stuff today. Chad's got all kinds of stuff going on out here. Unibody Ford that's like fully built. Rock Bouncer, chassis buggy, all kinds of cool stuff. That thing's red. LS powered Nova. Big old tires under it. All right, enough screwing around. Let's run this truck on the dyno. Second. Third. All right, it's kind of doing its thing now. See if it'll hold it in six. Put it up about 2,500 and then land it. Yeah. Roll one at 25 and then punch it. Yep, go.
This thing downshifts so weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's funny it wouldn't hold it either. Hold six? Yeah, yeah. it dropped a fifth. Yeah, it dropped a fifth. It smells smells like I was running it. Oh yeah, yeah. she's warm now. Um, Try and roll into it a little bit at 2500 once you get up there and let, let it gain about five or 600 RPM and then slowly go into it, you know what I mean? Yeah. This thing's always had a weird, uh, a weird way of like decelerating. Right, ready? Something to do in the throttle, I wonder. All right. Let's see how we did. Let's see if this thing did more than the 70 horse that my Land Cruiser put out. So, 307, 352. Ah, that's good. <laughs> I think that, I mean, going through a transfer case and 45 feet of drive shaft, well, that's better than I expected. I don't know what you were expecting. You've, I was you've hoping seen. around 325, 345 for horsepower, but... So, if I do exhaust work on this thing, which is just going to be a muffler swap, I'm not doing like full blown, like full exhaust, I'm hoping to gain 10 horsepower. Is that doable? I was going to say 7. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Back in the day when you'd read like truck and magazine, they'd always like give you all these crazy numbers, but if you actually threw like some high flow muffler on, you're getting like 7, so... If I get if I get seven, that's okay. If I get ten, I'm gonna be stoked. We'll go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna head home with this thing and go cut the truck all up and come back later today to see if we can make a little bit more power. Thanks, Chad. Yep. All right, that did. Whoa, big old pothole. Oh, <laughs> coffee spilling. Dang it. Ah. Can't have nothing nice. Can't have nothing nice. At least it made it into the cup holder. <laughs> All right, that did better than I expected. I don't know what I was expecting, but the fact that this truck with transfer case and 40 feet of drive shaft actually put three something to the ground, I'm all right with that. I kind of figured this thing was gonna put like, I don't know, mid twos to the ground. I think Chad was hoping it would put 320 to the ground. Uh, but it did it did what I was hoping for so that's good now let's go back to the shop move a bunch of junk around I want to put this thing on the lift and uh, and do the mufflers on the lift if I can so we got a bunch of moving moving around to do good day mouth biking and dyno running all kinds of cool stuff let's try not to get a t-bone pulling out of here trucks in here it takes up all the space oh my gosh this thing is huge i've never put this big a truck on the lift before so i guess we'll find out if it's super sketchy or not i'm gonna go ahead and raise this thing up and we'll find out all right it's going up <laughs> We're good. Let's give the old shake. I think it's good. We'll definitely be using the stands on this one. It's always sketchy putting something on the rack for the first time, especially when it's right at the, probably the max capacity for the lift. All right, let's get to work. Let's take a look at the exhaust system on it from the factory. The tailpipe section is all three and a half inch. It's got a little resonator back here. That's not gonna have any baffles in it. That should just be a perforated tube and fiberglass mat. And then we got the main, the main muffler right here. This is a big dog. 
it is uh, three inch in and then three and a half out. This is the one that I've seen the uh, cutaway of this in the design of it just being absolutely terrible. The piping is already kind of going to crap, but that's what we got to deal with. All right, so this is the front resonator. I've just been kind of poking around in here and trying to figure out my, what my game plan is. I have an option. I have this Y pipe connector that's dual two and a half to single three inch out. It could go here and we create a Y and then maybe get a small resonator behind it. And that would get rid of the restriction that's going on right here. Obviously there is something going on. Uh, some of that could just be residue from the, uh, some of that could just be residue flinging off of the transfer case. Let's start this project off right with some WD-40. You know what? I'm under here trying to make some power. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this guy out and we will deal with how to make it right. There's obviously some restriction in this thing with how much heat it's withholding. So I want to get it out of the way. At minimum, I want to get in there and see what kind of, uh, what kind of design it is. It's definitely some good quality stainless tubing. It is just smoking. My, it's just smoking my blade. I'm going to go ahead and cut here close to the muffler as well. That way I might be able to reuse this clamp section. out of there let's see what's going on inside of that muffler yeah it's crazy they would have the bottom one not restricted whatsoever and then the upper one I don't know if you can see in there but the upper one has a tube that comes the upper one has a tube that comes back to about here that I can see and then it hits this wall and has to redirect back through here I'm going to go ahead and get the main muffler out of here now. Okay. That's loose. There it goes. Okay, that muffler's out of the way. We'll cut that thing up in a little bit and show you what's inside of it. Well, I guess we're going to get rid of that. I have my two pipes coming out here. I'm not messing with anything forward of these pipes. This flange forward is kind of the catalytic converter system. If you were to go and buy a cat back system, it would start right at this flange and at this slip collar here. So what I'm doing is basically like a poor man's version of going out and buying a cat back system. I'm trying to utilize as much of the existing pipe work that we can because I don't want to go spend a bunch of extra money and I'm really just trying to use up some mufflers that I've had sitting around the shop for a while. So this is getting close. I've got that, um, I've got that pipe fit pretty good up here to where I can, uh, I can start trimming and fitting this Y pipe into here. It's one of these ways. Anyways, we're about to, we're about to get the Y pipe fitted up into place and welded and then we can keep working back from there. More fitting. I gotta get this thing to fit really nice. Cool. my trick for seeing the top side of the welds. It's an old hard drive. These things are always hard to get rid of no matter what. 
I just dig them out of old computers and I figure by the time they're done being used as a welding mirror, they're probably all covered in splatter and not, not going to be able to be used for anything anyways. Let's see here. There we go. All right, that thing is welded all the way around. Let's go move back from there. I think that was probably the hardest part of this job was getting rid of that or creating a white pipe. So next up is going to be a resonator or a glass pack or a cherry bomb or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just a perforated tube all the way through with a little bit of fiberglass around the outside. There we go. So we're getting this far. All these parts that I'm using are all just leftovers from other projects or been laying around here for a while. This is a two and a half to three inch collector Y from Flowmaster. This is a, uh, it is actually a polished thrush um, glass pack. And then the muffler that we're gonna use is a Dynamax. So. I sure hope this thing sounds good. I don't doubt that it's going to sound cool. I just don't want it to be so loud that I don't like driving the truck anymore. But I do love doing exhaust. So I doubt this will be the end all be all exhaust system on this truck. Cool. That's welded up. Let's move on to that again. Let's talk about the muffler that's going on this thing. This is a Dynamax 17698. This is a super turbo muffler. It's in a plain box. 17698, just for any of you that are trying to duplicate it. Basically, I've got another Dynamax super turbo here and we can read what it says. It obviously says they have the best flow out of all these other manufacturers. This is the super turbo at 520 CFM with the OEM way down here at 225. Patented flow directors, aluminized fiberglass matting, reduces back pressure for increased horsepower and fuel economy. This is considered a performance muffler even though it is chambered. Chambered means it's like the exhaust comes in here, goes around, and comes out here. Whereas a non-chambered muffler would just be straight through. So let's weld this puppy up. Okay, I went ahead and tacked this stock section of pipe back in. So it'll still have that portion there. And like I said earlier, this is a three inch in, and then it's got to get to three and a half on the outside. So, because it's just got a larger tailpipe, I went ahead and ran around this with a pair of pliers and kind of belled this out a little bit. And that gets it to where it fits really well inside of that three and a half inch tailpipe. So if all goes right, There we go. I think. Is that it? That looks good. All right, I can get to the welds all the way around here. I can get to this weld, no problem. It's not hitting the frame or in the way of the exhaust or the drive shaft. I'll just put a little pressure up when I weld this and then I'll do a hanger when we're all said and done. We're getting close. Let me make sure the tailpipe's not doing anything weird. I'm excited, this should be cool. I hope it makes some power. I hope it makes some sound. I hope it doesn't make me annoyed that I cut off all the factory mufflers on the truck.
Good to go. Now we just have to come back here and weld this joint. That one's going to be kind of hard to get around the top because of all the cross members and leaf springs and all that. All right. I got to put the camera down so I can get around and get all the hard spots around the top side of that. But I think we're getting pretty damn close. I'm excited to hear it. There we go. Pretty much a uh, pretty custom exhaust on here now. White pipes in, resonators in, muffler is in. It's all welded up and all the hangers are good to go. I think it's time to put the welder away. We'll go cut this thing open. I want to see what's inside of that. And then we'll head back over to the dyno shop. Yeah, I already cut the resonator, so I cut it, but I haven't peeled it open yet. Let me set the camera down and we will see what's inside here. Okay, that's making sense now. Basically, if you can see that, you have the two pipes coming in, right? This was the lower one and this was the upper one. So it would have been in the truck like that, grinder fill. This one goes in and goes into this chamber and then directly out the exit. The upper one, it has to go in through here and then hits this wall and then it goes back through a couple of little holes. It goes through a couple of little holes and then bounces around and then makes its way out this. So obviously you can see here, it's a little more restrictive design. Again, bottom one straight in, straight out, but it has this chamber to echo in or resonate in. Upper one goes through this tube into this back chamber and then has to come back through a couple of little holes here and then into the exit or out pipe, outlet pipe. So. Definitely created a little bit better flow by doing a white pipe right into a resonator. Now let's cut this thing up and see what's in here. That's a really good heat shield. I'm going to keep that. I wasn't interested in doing exhaust on this thing at all until I watched this other dude's video who makes um, exhaust systems for these trucks. So it's going to take a minute to cut this and we'll see what's inside. This doesn't seem like all bad design. It's got full-size tubes into it, a full-size passage here, comes into a resonance chamber, and then drops down and out a full-size tube. These little guys on this one and this one are just opened up, and there's some sort of like balance tube. Must like get rid of some frequency, I don't know. But all in all, I don't think that this is a very restrictive muffler whatsoever. Look at the size of that pass passageway there. Hmm, we'll see if we make any improvements or not. We'll drop the truck down off the lift and see how it sounds. Head over to the dyno shop. I left the microphone back here so that you guys can hear what this thing sounds like for first startup. like when we're driving. I'm stoked that it's not just like crazy loud. Let me go back up to the car and I'll give it a couple revs so you can hear it. It's definitely not not blaringly loud which is good. All right let's go uh, pull it out of the shop head over to the dyno. All right let's do a little pull.
I dig it. it. Sounds good. It seems like it's got more pickup, but I don't know. I've, I don't normally drive this thing hard, so it's hard telling. It might just feel faster because I'm driving it harder. That seems to be the case anytime you put exhaust on something. All right, Chad's strapping it down. It's not very loud, huh? No, it's not very loud at all. It's kind of crazy. You can see I ditched that big resonator and put that, I used that uh, whatever polished stainless cherry bomb and did a white pipe up there and everything. Pretty cool. I'm a little hesitant on the 10 horsepower now because the stock muffler was really not very bad at all. It was actually like a really good design. What the butt dino say? Uh, well, I was driving it harder, which <laughs> like to me, it, sound, it feels like we made 50 horsepower, but I think it's just because I'm driving like a, like a jerk now. We're going to find out. Traction control off. Okay. Go up to like fifth gear or something. That way it doesn't try and get over 89. Or what do you think? No, I'd say we'd just do it in six gear again. Or what were we in before? Six. Yeah, let's just do six gear again. And okay. Just do like before, take it up about 2,500 RPM and then slowly roll into it. Okay, so that's six gear. Yeah. And roll into it. Okay. I think we got all the rocks out of the tires. It's flicking rocks. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. How'd we do? Did we lose power? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really getting after it. Okay, let's get after it. How, like it's down in 270 land? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How's the strap back there, man? <laughs> let's whack this thing. All right. Or the door's open. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe that's why we're losing power. All right. I'm going to get after it once we get to 2,500. Yep. Okay. I let off a minute ago and it's still just going for it. Okay. Is that back to normal? We made. We made power. All right, let's okay. let's look. That, that one definitely felt better. What a, 319 on torque to 368. All right, what'd we do, what'd we do? 319, 368. Okay, and we started at 307? Yep, and 319. So All right. We made quite a bit. 12 horsepower, you, <laughs> you said seven. <laughs> I, I should have bet you. <laughs> That's good. 12 horsepower by just welding some junk on that I had laying around the shop. Free horsepower. And a whole lot of, a whole lot of torque. That's yep. like, what, 39 yeah. foot pounds of torque? Stoked. Stoked. And it doesn't sound like garbage. No, oh, that's an amazing thing. You can't even hardly hear this thing. Oh, it, it sounds good now. It's kind of hollow sounding, but it doesn't, it's not all raspy like a Flowmaster. It sounds like a truck. Yeah. Dude, stoked. I didn't, I didn't ruin my truck. <laughs> Woohoo! Let me look at those numbers again. We went from 307 on the max power in horsepower, 307 to 319. And on torque, we went 319 to 368. That is pretty substantial for just welding together some junk that I had laying around in the shop. Super turbo muffler, 
just a basic old uh, cherry bomb type resonator and a Y pipe going into that resonator. Pretty rad. That's it for this dirt head shed. Thanks for watching.